The Brad Johnson Show. I'm turning losers like you into winners like me. You're about to enter the winning zone. Hello and welcome to the Brad Johnson Show. Quick one-shot episode from me, your host Brad Johnson. Uh, This is a solo episode where it's just solely me talking to you through your ears. And uh, this podcast medium, like I've talked about before, it's one of my favorites because it's one way that I can just communicate to the masses all the wisdom and knowledge that I have, which is just absolutely incredible, and be able to uh, just expound upon it in a way that you know people like you can understand. And uh, yeah, that's why I do what I do. Uh, But in addition to that, I also do other things because there's more than one medium, okay? Podcasts are not the only way that I communicate my knowledge. I've done that in many different ways. One of the ways has been nonfiction books. I have written, uh, sheesh, yeah, I've lost count. I think it's over 47 different nonfiction bestseller books, actually. They have all all been bestsellers in their own niches and categories. And um, yeah, uh, it's just been, it's been an amazing ride. I've had so many people, testimonials and stuff, lives changed through that, which is awesome. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's not just for the money because, um, you know, I have so much of it that I just don't really care anymore. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I did the, the nonfiction books. We've done the course, the Brad Johnson course. And, um, for those of you doubters out there, it is a real course. Okay. I'm not just saying this for the podcast. This is a real course. You click the show notes link down below. It will take you to Thinkific, which is a place where they host course. Okay. They don't horse host like fake courses on Thinkific. This is a real course. It's four hours of video content of me talking to you, telling you the 10 keys to success. James is there too, unfortunately. Uh, uh, Anyway, whole nother story there. What I'm saying is I've done all these different mediums and I've been amazing in all of them. A video, books, podcasts, okay? Uh, but one medium that I realized earlier this year that I hadn't tackled uh, was fiction. And I was like, dude, to myself. I was like, dude, I I call myself dude. Um, I was like, dude, why haven't you done a fiction book yet? And I was like, dude, I don't know. And then I was like, dude, I'm going to do it. And I was like, dude, you rock, go do it and make make it happen. And I did. Okay. So I did hashtag NaNoWriMo, but I did it Brad Johnson style. Okay. So it was hashtag NaNoWriMo because I don't just write fiction. Okay. I'm not just writing some novel to write a novel. I'm writing winning novels, okay? This is going to win a Pulitzer. It's going to win a Nobel Peace Prize. It's going to win other stuff too. It's a winning novel. And I can guarantee that because my name is on the cover, okay? Brad Johnson, that's my name, and that's what's on the cover. So you may be wondering, Brad, what did you write about? How, how, how did your illustrious mind find time to be able to do a fiction book on top of all the other awesome stuff you do? And I will tell you, I did it, um... Yeah, I, I just wrote, okay? That's words came off of my fingertips in through the keyboard and the cable. All it's, Well, it's not the cable because it's a wireless keyboard, um, but into the computer. And now they populate a, a, a Word document that was actually on Google. So it's a Google document that, um, yeah, is completely awesome. And it's a full book, a full book written by me, Brad Johnson. And when I say that, it's kind of like, if you read, um, you know, any of those famous authors, um, like, uh, 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 you know, the, the, the people who are really famous, who like just everybody knows <laughs> that guy or that girl, because there are, are famous female authors too, amazingly enough. Um, it, it, whatever you got there, as long as um, that name is on there, you know what to expect, okay? So if you see a novel by um, somebody who's like super famous for some particular niche of fiction. And because <laughs> something people, a lot of people don't realize is that fiction has niches too. Okay. There's niches all over the place. You can just kind of point and you'll see a niche. Uh, anyway, so if, if that famous person who's known for that niche writes a book, you know what you're going to get. Okay. Now, since this is my first fiction book, um, you might not look at it and be like, Oh, that's a book by Brad Johnson. Therefore X, Y, and Z. Um, because that's not even a word. So it wouldn't be X, Y, and Z. It would be some kind of niche of, of you know, it's uh, fantasy fiction or some kind of uh, murder mystery or, you know, something like that. Um, so when you see a Brad Johnson fiction book, you may think, wow, like entrepreneurship and winning and all kinds of awesome amazingness um, like I get from every other Brad Johnson thing. So that's basically what I'm going for here is that I already have a brand that is Brad Johnson, that is hashtag winner Lee, and uh, that's that's kind of my brand, okay? So that is what has been channeled into this amazing fiction book, okay? So 
The best way I can describe it to you is James Bond meets Brad Johnson. And then Brad Johnson beats up James Bond and is like, ha, now I'm the spy sucker. Like, here I go. And that's that's basically what these books are, okay? It's, it's Brad Johnson completely dominating over top of anybody who ever tried to be a spy. <laughs> that's basically what we got here. And um, still working on titles. Uh, the, the book is in editing. I actually already started on book two. This is going to be a series, and uh, it's going to be amazing. It already is. <laughs> uh, so yeah, book two uh, is in the works. Uh, book one is in the editing phase, and you know what that means. I need beta readers, okay? If you are somebody who can read, which is, surprisingly, a large portion of the population, especially here in America. Um, so if you are a reader, somebody who can read, who knows how to take symbols that are on a page and turn them into words within your brain, then I want to talk to you. Okay, like I said, in the editing process, I need beta readers because I want people to go through it and be like, wow, this is amazing. And tell me the spots where it could be more amazing if it's, um, you know, it's pretty much, it's pretty evenly amazing all throughout, I'm going to say. It's gone all in there. But uh, if there are any improvements, which <laughs> I kind of doubt there are, but you know, that's what my editor said is something about that. So I was like, fine, whatever, I'll find some beta readers. So I want you guys as listeners to help me out and uh, I'll help you out by giving you a book of awesomeness that you can actually read with your eyes. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's basically a spy thriller that if you enjoy that type of, that, that genre, you are going to love this. This is absolutely the best spy genre book that has ever been written. And, um, you know, I'm not boasting when I say that because it's just a fact, okay? I don't even know what other spy genre books are out there besides like James Bond. Oh, no, those are movies. Sorry. Um, I don't even know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. But it's even better than a movie. Now, it should be a movie eventually, but, it, you know, that's that's to come. <laughs> We're uh, soon to be talking with the executives at uh, Hulu, actually, probably, uh, most likely. Uh, that is a potential possibility that is potentially in the future. Uh, so keep that in mind uh, as you do this, because then someday when this is a major motion picture or maybe it's a, um, a, a award-winning TV show, uh, Netflix series or Hulu series or whatever it may be, Amazon Prime even, Disney Plus even, um, whatever it ends up being, you can be like, dude, I was a beta reader on that book, okay? <laughs> I don't know why you'd say it like that, because that would be kind of weird. But, um, yeah, that's that's that could go on your resume, literally, and, and get you through basically any door. Because if people are like, wow, this guy beta read the Brad Johnson books? That's all I need to know, okay? All right, so, anyway, in order to get the copy for you to become a beta reader, I need to hear from you. And that is at Brad Johnson Show on all the social mediums. That is bradjohnsonshow at gmail.com. I have my VAs check those regularly, so we will get in touch with you, get you the copy of the book so that you can beta read it. Um, and yeah, that's that's what we're talking about here today. So hashtag NanWinnerimo was a smashing success, as is everything that I do. So uh, yeah, if you want to become a beta reader, get in touch with me. Let's make this happen, people. Thanks for listening today. We will catch you next time, which is a special Christmas episode, which you will not want to miss. Don't forget, also, you can get the course um, at the link down below in the show notes at Thinkific, uh, Brad Johnson show course, video course. Amazing stuff there. Thanks, guys, for listening. Love you. Talk to you next time. Ciao. You've just listened to an episode of Awesomeness. Now, go out and spread the awesomeness and help others fix the mess that is their life and help them stop being a loser and start winning in business, health, and their personal life by getting them to listen to the Brad Johnson Show. Book your face, tweet your tweets, and Instagrams at Brad Johnson Show. The Brad Johnson Show. Winners only. <laughs>